Taha on Twitter says any website remotely affiliated with sex trafficking should be shut down and its owner should be prosecuted immediately. It seems sort of like a no brainer. It seems pretty easy enough. Why that doesn't happen, though, is elucidated in this video comment we got from Daniel Pryor. Have a listen. Holding sites like Backpage accountable for third party content undermines Internet freedom. It tramples on the First Amendment. It screws over sex workers and it undermines anti-trafficking efforts. The free speech aspect of this debate centers on Section 230, a 1996 law passed by Congress that protects websites from liability for third party content. Without this law, you could see people suing Twitter for hosting illegal tweets, and it's easy to see why that isn't desirable and why it amounts to censorship.